Help save the butcher! Help save the butcher! Hi, this is Bob from HelpSaveTheButchers.com and today I'm going to show you how to slice a whole boneless ribeye. I have a boneless ribeye in front of me. It's the exact same cut as prime rib, just been boned out. It has two ends to it. The chuck end on this end has a little bit more fat to it. And you can see it has several different muscles there with some fat grain separating it. On this end, this is the loin end, much leaner end. And this is where the New York strip continues and the porterhouse steaks from this part on in the animal. This is cut from the fifth through the twelfth rib. Ribeye steaks are great broiling. You can do them as thin as three quarters of an inch on the grill because they got a little bit more fat to them. They're not going to have a tendency to dry out. And they're a tender steak, great eating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my 12 inch steak knife. Now, if you don't have a knife this big at home, that's fine, but you really need something long enough to go through the meat. First thing I'm going to do is make sure my ends are even. I'm going to decide how many steaks I'm going to get out of this piece. First thing I want to do is I want to mark it off. It's important that the steaks are even when you slice them, so that way they cook evenly. I'm going to divide the piece in half. Then I'm going to take each side, I'm going to divide that in half again. I'm going to mark it on top just with a little slice there, right? Now I'm going to decide. I can decide on my thickness, if I want to go three quarters of an inch, I can get four steaks out of each side. If I want to do one inch, I can get three steaks out of each quarter. First thing we're going to do, we're going to do the four steaks out of each side. And we're going to get 16 steaks out of the total piece, okay? I'm going to hold the meat flat, point my fingers away to make sure I don't cut myself, but it keeps the meat even this way. And we have the quarter there, the quarter there, and we're going to divide that. There we go. Nice and easy. Don't push hard on the knife. Let the knife do the work for you. Then when you get it halfway through, pull back. Don't lift up on the knife. If you lift up on your knife like this, it's going to make ridges in the steak. Take the halfway mark again. We're going to mark it there and slice through. Pull back. Let the knife do the work. Here's our last ones here on this quarter. These are three quarter inch steaks, but you can see how beautiful they are. They're going to be great on the grill. One other thing that I really like to do for myself personally sometimes is I like to uh, use ribeye steak as a sandwich steak. And if you are going to slice the thin sandwich steaks out of these, I would slice it from this end nice and lean, but at a quarter of an inch pan fried. Steak is fantastic, a lot of flavor, good eating. Now, if you were going to cut a roast out of this, the half that I would cut the roast out of is the chuck half. Has a little bit more fat to it, and the fat would melt into the roast, keeping it nice and juicy. And that's really what you want, you want a juicy roast. As we're getting down a little bit farther, you can see the difference how the fat starts to appear on this end here. Now, I'm going to cut a couple of more steaks off of here. We're going to take the quarters and divide them. And we're going to leave the last pot as a roast for you. But we could continue and get the 16 steaks. So that's our roast part right there. And we're going to take this here. Now what we're going to do is going to take the top of the eye to the point of the tip. And we're just going to take a slice of any excess fat off of there. Nice and easy. Very little waste. these. You can use seasoning on these. They don't have to be marinated. But if you have a particular seasoning that you prefer, go great on these. The fat will melt into it and keep it nice and juicy for you. These here are pretty good. Okay, I would leave those just like that. Okay, there you go. Whole boneless ribeye, nice and easy to slice. This end is a roast. This end is steaks. Great eating. And as my wife likes to say, real men eat ribeye. I know I do. This is Bob from HelpSaveTheButchers.com. Don't forget, buy fresh cut meat from your local butcher, just like your mom did.